Hello everyone, this is Rubicon Recon Living and I'm giving a brief video and demonstration of the Vector JKE bar that I installed in my 2018 Rubicon Recon last week. The reason I purchased the bar was that while I was off-roading a few weeks ago I was using a suction cup windshield phone mount that came off the windshield and nearly fell out of my driver's side passenger window. You can see I prefer to have my phone mounted in the far driver's side position. So that prompted me to, uh, to purchase the bar. The bar is a little bit overpriced in my opinion, um, but you do get a, um, a good amount of functionality. Um, it's aesthetically pleasing, and I think it fits the, the Jeep nicely. There is a variety of mounting options that are available with the bar, and the install is extremely simple. I'm not covering the install. There are plenty of excellent videos out there on how to install the bar. It was a very simple installation, and the YouTubers will take you through that process and guide you through it. Um, the couple recommendations I would make regarding the install would be to one, uh, put your driver's side and passenger side window down, uh, in, at least in the front seat, um, because you don't want to put the bar through your windows. And I did not suffer that misfortune and I did not want to suffer that misfortune um, the, um, the reason I caution you about this is for my second recommendation I recommend mounting the, the brackets prior to installing the bar. Um, the bar once installed becomes very difficult to mount the brackets and I'll show you that in a second. Um, what I did was I laid the bar on my dash and used a pencil to mark the appropriate positions of where I wanted the uh, mounts to to be placed and then took the bar out and mounted them and then uh, installed the bar with the mounting uh, brackets installed. You can see that on the dash there is just not a tremendous amount of room to work with the bar um, and getting the mounts placed each one is a very tight fit and uh, there's basically no room under some of those mounting brackets so I uh, don't want to have everybody installing the bar and mounting uh, trying to mount the, the uh, brackets and be unsuccessful. I've chosen to in the far passenger side uh, mount a bracket uh, ram mount with a, um, uh, an extension and turn it back up there and give you a look at that. Uh, that is going to be for my uh, solar power bank. This is my iPad mount and I will show you how I approach this. Um, there's an extension mount with an extension bar and a swivel mount. And I'm going to walk around on the passenger side in a minute and show you more about that. And this is a camera mount um, that I've used. And again, my, uh, my phone mount uh, with a swivel extension just to uh, be able to position it however I choose. Let me walk around to the passenger side. Try to show you the bar from the outside. I think the reflection's a little bit tough to see. For the iPad mount, what I chose to do is I used a U-bolt style mount with an extension and then an extension bar and a short extension with the um, with the iPad mount. The weight of the iPad I feared would cause some sagging. So what I chose to do was to basically lay the 
corner of the mount up against the passenger grab bar and then Velcro that in and now the mount is um, very secure. It may bobble up and down a bit but uh, I don't think it's going to suffer any sagging and that's what I was trying to avoid. So all in all I'm pleased with the installation. I think the functionality of the bar is going to be very helpful and I certainly don't think anything is going to pop off of the bar while I'm off-roading. Hope you found the video helpful and I will be putting up a video shortly uh, regarding the uh, solar uh, power bank after I have a few outings with that. Talk to you later.